Welcome to this deep dive. We're really diving head first into the 2024 U.S. presidential election with this one. Yeah, you sent us a ton of articles. Looks like someone's been doing their research. Definitely someone has. Mm. And they're all focusing on Vice President Harris and former President Trump. Right. And where they stand on some really important issues. We're going to tackle it all through a really great piece we found from the New York Times. Okay. It covers everything. Abortion, Israel, and Gaza. Really the whole gamut. Oh, wow. So okay. let's jump right in. The elephant in the room. Abortion. <laughs> yeah, abortion has been in the headlines so much lately. Huge, huge topic. And this article points out it is. that Harris is firmly pro-choice, mm -hmm. but Trump's view is basically to let each state decide on their own. Yeah, and that all goes back to the overturning of Roe v. Wade in 2022. Exactly. And you actually sent us something from 2019. Right, right. An interview with Harris where she visits an abortion clinic. She was a senator then. Right. First sitting VP to do that. Can you uh -huh. imagine? Yeah, that was a huge deal. Speaks volumes about how important this is to her. Definitely. And that Supreme Court decision from a couple of years ago, it's still having a huge impact on the country. Totally. There's so many different abortion laws now, depending on what state you're in. Such a great example of how elections can have really long lasting effects, you know? Absolutely. OK, let's talk about climate change. OK. Globally, a really big issue right now. And Harris is following the Biden administration's lead. Mm -hmm. Pushing for renewable energy and environmental justice. Which is a stark contrast to Trump's record, to say the least. It really is. He's been very vocal about questioning climate science yeah. and supporting fossil fuels. Which is interesting because Harris is saying we need to move away from that and towards renewable energy. And Trump's basically saying, no, we need to stick with what we know. Right. And it's not just talk. Exactly. Trump actually rolled back a lot of environmental regulations when he was in office. He did. He did. And he pulled the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Agreement. He did. Yeah. So real actions with real consequences. Absolutely. OK. Another really important issue, crime. Mm -hmm. Both candidates seem to want to increase funding for law enforcement. Yeah, they both say that. But when you look closer, their approaches are completely different. How so? Well, the article says Harris is really focused on gun control okay. as a way to reduce crime. OK. Whereas Trump wants harsher sentencing and seems less concerned about due process. Interesting. And then there's his stance on sending the military into cities with high crime rates. Oh, right. Which a lot of people saw as very controversial. Very controversial. I mean, does that really reduce crime? Yeah. And what yeah. are the implications of that? Right. Exactly. Using the military to do police work. Mm hmm. It's a blurry line. It is. It is. It's a little scary. OK, well, let's move on to another big one. Democracy. OK. This article brought up a concerning trend of Trump continuing to question the 2020 election results, mm -hmm. which is very different from Harris, who seems to be very much a defender of democracy. Very different. And it makes you wonder what effect that has on people. What do you mean? Well, if a candidate is constantly questioning the election process, does that make people trust it less? That's a good question. Right. I mean, free and fair elections, that's the foundation of our democracy. It is. And if people lose faith in that, then what happens? Exactly. OK, let's move on to another topic that always gets people talking, the economy. Of course, the economy. The article highlights Harris's idea of government investment as the way to go. Mm -hmm. in, in infrastructure, renewable energy, right. open to stimulate growth. Right. And this is a completely different approach than Trump's stance. It is. Which is more the traditional tax cuts and tariffs. Right. So we have government intervention versus free market ideas. Two totally different economic philosophies, and each one would have a huge impact on everything. On everything. From how many jobs are created to how social programs are funded. Absolutely. Let's zoom out to the global stage. OK. The article says that Harris is really advocating for the U.S. to be more active in international affairs, especially within NATO. Which, again, is a contrast to Trump's approach. Yeah, he's been pretty skeptical of our traditional alliances. He has. In fact, the article even mentions that he's hinted at potentially giving less support to Ukraine. Yeah, and that has huge implications for global stability. It really does. It could totally change things. It could. Speaking of contrasting approaches, the article points out some key differences in how they view health care. OK. So Harris is all about strengthening the Affordable Care Act mm -hmm. and, you know, trying to do something about those crazy drug prices. Right. But Trump, during his presidency, he tried to get rid of the Affordable Care Act a few times. He did. And let's not forget about the COVID-19 pandemic. Right. That was huge. Huge impact on health care everywhere. And the article brings up how Trump handled that whole crisis. Particularly his skepticism of what scientists were saying. 
Right. He really went against the grain there. He did. And that had real consequences. It really did. For better or for worse, it was a defining moment. Speaking of complex issues, the article also digs into immigration. Okay. It says that while Harris has criticized some of the Trump administration's more extreme immigration policies, she's also supported some of Biden's stricter border control measures, which is interesting. It is interesting. It shows how complicated immigration really is. It's not just about what you believe politically. It's about so much more. Right. How do you manage the border? What's the humane thing to do? Right. It's a tough one. It is. Okay. Last but certainly not least, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Mm -hmm. Always a tough one. Always a tough one. And the article says that both candidates say they support Israel, but there are some key differences in how they approach it. Like what? Well, Harris is really focused on the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, making sure people are taken care of. Okay. Trump, on the other hand, has been really vocal, condemning those pro-Palestinian demonstrations here in the U.S. Yeah, interesting how even when they seem to agree, they approach things so differently. It's all about the nuances. It is the nuance. And that's just the beginning. We've barely scratched the surface. But there's so much more to uncover about these issues. And what each candidate's vision for the country really means. And what it would mean for everyone. Exactly. It's like we're looking at two totally different maps of America, you know? Yeah. And it's up to us to figure out which path we want to take. Exactly. And it's not like these issues are separate, you know? Right. They're all connected. Totally. Like understanding what someone really thinks about climate change. It means also understanding how that affects the economy, foreign policy, even social justice. Right. It's all connected. It's a lot to think about. It really is. That's why it's so important to be able to think critically about these things. What do you mean? Well, it's not enough to just pick a side because of like a gut feeling. Or because someone has a catchy slogan. Exactly. You have to really engage with the information, you know. Especially these days. Oh, tell me about it. There's so much information out there. Everyone's got an opinion and social media just makes it all so much louder. It's overwhelming, right? Like, how do you even begin to figure out what's important? Right. Well, for me, it's all about being really careful about where I get my information from. Okay. So you're looking for reliable sources. Yes. Sources that are known for checking their facts and presenting a balanced view. They have to show both sides of an issue, even if those sides seem like they're, like, polar opposites. Exactly. And even then, you have to be aware of your own biases, you know? What do you mean? Well, we all have our own preconceived ideas, our own values that we hold dear. Right. And recognizing those can help you look at information more critically. You know? So it's not about just finding the right answer. It's about asking the right questions. Exactly. Question everything. What you read, what you hear, even your own assumptions. Wow. Okay. It's about trying to understand why someone believes what they believe, what their motivations are, and what might happen because of those beliefs. What the consequences might be. Exactly. Both the good and the bad. Right. Like the thing we talked about earlier, overturning Roe v. Wade. Exactly. Whether you're pro-choice or pro-life, it's a perfect example of how elections can have huge long-term effects. It sparked so much debate, didn't it? It really did, about states' rights, women's rights, health care. And it's still going on. It all comes back to this. Voting isn't just about picking a president you like. It's so much bigger than that. It's about thinking about how their policies might affect things years down the road. Generations, even. How their decisions could shape the future of the country for our kids and grandkids. It's like a ripple effect, you know? Mm. Our choices have consequences that go way beyond us. So as we're going through this election, with all the slogans and promises being thrown around, right. we need to remember that it's not just about who sits in the Oval Office. It's about the kind of country we want to live in. And the kind of world we want to leave behind. It's about our values, our hopes for the future. That's a lot of responsibility. It is, but it's also incredibly empowering. How so? Because it means that we have a voice, that yeah. we can make a difference. That's what democracy is all about, isn't it? It really is. And it all comes down to us being informed and engaged, right? It can't just be about being passive bystanders. We have to actually participate if we want to shape the future. Exactly. And that's kind of what we're doing here, you know, yeah. trying to give people a roadmap to help them navigate all this. We're like explorers charting out this crazy yeah. landscape. Right. With all its twists and turns and different paths you could take. So it's not about finding all the answers perfectly laid out. It's more about knowing the right questions to ask. Yes. And knowing where to find good information. Right. And not just taking everything at face value. Exactly. You got to be a little skeptical, yeah. you know, question your assumptions and realize that these issues are complicated. It's rarely black and white. Never. So much gray area. So much. And we can't forget that. 
We've covered so much ground in this deep dive. We really have. We've gone way beyond just the headlines and really gotten into the heart of what these candidates stand for. Harris and Trump, two very different visions for the country. It's clear that this election is about so much more than just picking a president. It's about big picture stuff. About the kind of country we want to be. And what kind of future we want to build. And it's not just about us, it's about the whole world. It really is. The decisions we make here will have ripple effects everywhere. It's a lot to think about. It is. But knowing that we have a voice that we can make a difference. That's what makes it all worthwhile, you know? It's what makes it real. Exactly. So as you're thinking about all this. All the issues we've talked about. Yeah, and how each candidate wants to approach them. Think about this. How might this election affect the rest of the world? How will it shape not just America's future, but the future of our entire interconnected world? That's something to think about. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Until next time, keep asking those tough questions.